Today we're making the Bloody Hollow's Eve using Mike's Hard Blood Orange. And <laughs> we're going to create a garnish on the fly yes. out of a paracord. After a muddling incident. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you want to stay tuned because the muddling instru instrument incident was well worth watching. Welcome to Comment Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schober. That, my friends, I see how I stayed away. Yeah, it's Ian that. Andrews. Here, right? um, I've been playing with fruit. Okay. Um, today, we're making the, what I call it, the Bloody, Bloody Hallows Eve. Eve. It's a, it's a cocktail. Oh, scary. scary. It's a, you, you have a church key? Or does well, it to flip the lights. It's a cocktail. Oh, this is, is dude, twisty. this is twist to unlock. So. This <laughs> cocktail really? features Mike's Hard Lemonade. I chose, now. This this episode start is, talking, is I'll start making. Oh, that'd be awesome. This episode's um, in partnership with Mike's Hard Lemonade. They gave me the choice. Don't don't eat seeds. Don't eat pear seeds. Seeds are bad. Yeah. Um, gave me the choice this. on what what I wanted to use for seasonals or regular <laughs> or whatever. Um, I thought that was a lemon. I chose I that was a pear. <laughs> this. This is a uh, Mike's Hard <laughs> Blood Orange, which by the way I never seen. I've never seen that either. No. Awesome. And so I was like, oh, a seasonal with blood oranges, that's freaking awesome. Mike's stuff has uh, been pretty good. The stuff that we've done with Mike's, I, yeah. I kind of enjoy the Mike's uh, products. Yeah, but this is going to be better. You know why? Because you made a drink with it? Yeah, it is. Uh, well, the, you know, the, the blood orange is one of those cocktail ingredients that's used a lot of the time. Um, it's used in um, the, the blood orange bitters are, yep. are fairly popular, hard to get. Uh, blood orange themselves, it's kind of seasonal, so you, you, there's only certain times you can use it, so it makes it a little bit more special. Yes. Um, what I wanted to do is, my goal was to create a Halloween cocktail that had both the blood orange flavor, but then I wanted to bring in another flavor. I thought gin made sense, uh, okay. but I wanted to kind of focus on the clove, because clove to me is kind of like a, a fall flavor. I don't know why. Hot toddy, stuff like that. A lot of them have clove in them. So this recipe is one ounce of gin. Uh, half ounce of flarinum syrup. I'm using BG Reynolds flarinum syrup because it's very clove heavy. And you can get it um, awesome drinks. You can get it awesome drinks. Yep. Um, three ounces of Mike's hard blood orange, which we're going to add later. Right. So what? He, oh, you read the instructions. Good. I did. Yeah. Um, so what you're going to do is mud. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, um, what I was going to say is muddling is very easy. You only have to push down once. <laughs> They're very right So pears. you're going to use the a great very thing is these pears are from your front yard. Yeah. yeah. The, you're gonna pears. Use, homegrown pears. <laughs> this is probably from the ground. Um, you're going to use, use a, a pear. It's going to be muddled. Be gently. careful when you stick a big ass muddler in there like this. <laughs> Just say. It offsets the fruit. Um, <laughs> that's awesome. So I'm going to fix that. In order to make this recipe <laughs> really, oh, you're going to put the gin back? The, in order to make this recipe kind of work right, the best thing to use because of the time of the season is an overripe pear. The way you get these is you either buy pears or you have pears. I have three pear trees in the front. That's how I kind of got mine. Um, you could buy pears, and what you do is you wait until, you know, you, you buy a bunch of pears, you leave them for the kids and the family Those to eat. pears are ripe. Yeah. Those pears are very ripe. <laughs> and then after they turn really yellow and they might start bruising, and you're like, ah, oh, I got to throw these out, that is the pear you want to use for this recipe. Super sugary and dense, but almost so soft that it kind of feels awkward in the mouth texture when you eat it. it makes it very easy and very juicy. No, when you eat it, it's always good. Now, what Ian's going to do is he's going to try and double strain this. And I stress the word try. Because pears are thick. <laughs> it's yes. very thick. That's why I grabbed this big uh, it's coarse It's not going to help you. Um, I'll okay. explain why. Here. We're gonna ice that fish. And then we're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna take it to the next level. So you want to put like uh, two or three there. cubes, probably two cubes, I think is what I originally did. Um, and when you're double straining it, <laughs> that was close, <laughs> close, close. Good 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 cold, it worked, huh? So we'll start with two. If you need a third one, you can add it later. You're gonna double strain this, but you're gonna find that the strainer is gonna get clogged, yeah. right? And when it gets clogged, just pour in a different spot. No, no, no. <laughs> no you could try that, but just pour it in. Like, take it from there and pour it right in. Like, yeah. Because well, all that's going to do is going to trap the pear. So a lot wow. of the mass... <laughs> wow. <laughs> right? A lot of the mass... See how it's dripping? But you're catching a lot of the, the, the salt. The strainer's full. Yeah. So... Yeah, now I'm sure you can see this. Yes. Everybody can see that. If they can't, I'll zoom then in the hot, all the their eyes here. aren't working. Now just kind of tip it and pour it in there. It's fine. Hold on. All right. Now we're going to do this. Wait. We want three ounces. So I'll, I'll even measure it correctly. 
Your ass is blood orange. Yeah, most of the pear stuff is actually caught in the strainer, is what right. you're saying, right? Yeah, you'll get a lot of the pear will be in there. And then you're going to still, still have some pear. Some floaties. Yeah. And, but the, the, it's all right. The extra, are... Yeah, the extra pear is going to add a little bit more of the sweetness. It's going to make it feel right. more natural. And then, do we have a spoon or do you steal? That's a spoon. We'll go with this one. Whoa, your hand is there. Hello. Just stir it so that it's, it's complete through and through. Now, if you want to, you can garnish it with a um, with a pear. Yeah, but we're all out right now. The, the pears are so ripe that yeah, if you have a fresh one, you can no, garnish no. it with this part. That's, of the pear. That's, what part of the pear are you gonna use? The seed? No, the middle part. The, the, the you're gonna core? use the core. <laughs> yeah, garnish the pear core. <laughs> that wasn't in the instructions. It is now. Oh, uh, that looks horrible. You know, it's, a, it's a bloody... <laughs> it looks like... That's the a Halloween drink. Actually, yeah, it goes. The it's pear fitting. has it's already been... Fitting. It's, it's I'll give you that. stripped off like acid. <laughs> that just happened. Boom. <laughs> so, this, my friends, is the Bloody Hallow's Eve. It's got the color. It's a little bit more peach-ish, maybe? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Um, not necessarily as bloody as Who putting this together. Yeah, yeah, you should totally put it's that down. It's actually really good. I don't know why I said actually. <coughs> it's a, it's oh, actually good. really good, like actually, all the other ones. Yeah, like it would be bad. That's good. Mike, Mike says it's all one product. I like yeah, the they Mike do. stuff. But see the carbonation, you can even see it kind of yeah. in here. Alright, I'm gonna put this in. <laughs> when I first drank this, I'm like, oh, you put uh, carbonated water. Yeah, sure. Oh, you put club soda in here. I'm like, no. No. No, no, I didn't. Oh, pear! <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> oh, oh, pear. Oh, pear. Oh, pear. It's, it's like, it's like a, a nurse baby sitter. Yeah. Yeah. Is it baby sitter? Baby sitter is probably not the right word. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, there's nanny. definitely some floaties like in there. Nanny, nanny. Yeah, you can see the particulates. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> what? The pear is poking him in the face as he's trying to drink. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't part of the recipe, that was ad lib. Yeah. It's good. Mm. Yes. Of course it is. Of course it is. I decided. Yeah. So you're getting a little bit of sweet pear, but not too much. It's mainly a blood orange. Blood orange, yeah. And a little bit of clove. Yeah. You do you, you added a lot of bit of clove. It's not. Well, it's not as bad as the, the not as potent as the clove. I think when we did it from the flarnum, you mean? Yeah. From yeah. The flarnum. Yeah. Um, I might have lost some of the flarnum, but I tried to, <laughs> I tried to add it back. I don't, and no, flarnum's heavy though. It is. So probably in the fall. Um, no, what happens is there's probably been other drinking that wasn't done when we originally yeah. This also looks like a breast cancer awareness drink. Mm. Doesn't it? It's a pinkish. Bit. I like that. I'm, uh, not necessarily I'm stealing from one of our uh, our online chat. viewers. Yeah, thank you, Diana. <laughs> this has got a, a little bit more of a pear sweetness to it, too. Um, so pear, blood orange pairing with um, the, the gin doesn't really come through, which is kind of well, the way... Well, we used a, yeah. We used I a pretty used mild citrus gin. gin. Yeah, I, I no. went with the citrus gin. If you really want to bring in the gin... Use a Tangare, uh, Bombay. Wait, we killed ours fire. finally. The oh, Tangare is done? Tangare, yeah. yeah, we killed, killed our Dan Tangare. And when, yeah, Dan yeah. and Jay were here. They're yeah. good at killing booze. We did. Yeah. <laughs> They're professionals. It worked well. <laughs> uh, our cell size we're making. Yeah. Yeah. Good so drinks. Good drinks for that. Yes. Exactly. It's a good drink. I like this. Yeah, it, it, it's kind of the season, blood orange you season. Know, you don't make bad drinks, Derek. <laughs> Every it, now and then you come up with a pretty good the, decent drink. The ba th this what? only took two shots to make, the, not, oh, okay. not physically two shots, but yeah, yeah. two attempts. The first, well, really one fail. The failure was really in the order of operations. See this? Yeah. See this right here? Yes, yes. See how you got all that craziness? There's a lot of stuff in here. So what I did originally... Is rather than rather than put the shaker in there, it's like almost like a um, apple uh, apple it's like sauce. A pear sauce. Yeah. Pear yeah. sauce. So what I originally did. That's all the stuff that's on there. You don't want to do this if you're using the override pear <laughs> system. He didn't kill himself, so that's good for the show. Um, <laughs> it I tried muddling it like um like a like a mojito. Yeah. Right. That was like a pear. But the problem was sauce. the pear is so saucy. It is. That it was it created this mushy. Pear. Like the consistency was so thick was when like I took food. a sip of it. Exactly. Yeah. It was like drinking baby food. <laughs> and I was like, that's just not gonna fly. Like you can't physically drink this. Mm. It's like you're drinking a, a blended pear. Yeah. Which is a neat <laughs> idea. That happens with avocados also. Yeah. Because the yeah, 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 that, 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 king yeah, that's if you gotta make it the gold slugger, yeah. That's true. You gotta make it very smooth. This was <laughs> it just didn't work right. So by shaking it and doing the double strain, even though you mm. pour the you stuff could even triple strain. strain that. 
<laughs> you can't triple strand it. It would never. You need seven straners to. You just keep and pouring then the strainers. No strainers. <laughs> yeah, and then it'd be like it'd be you like two drinks. You just double up the recipe. Yeah, <laughs> so. you, you have to leave some of the pear yeah. in there because it's so cloth, fine. You squeeze it out. And Dan in you the could. chat room says that it looks that the pear core looks like a dead mouse. <laughs> Let's get rid of that thing. It's, it's a dead mouse. Oh, well, maybe that's for Halloween. Look like a dead mouse. It's, it's a Halloween cocktail. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love how it sticks right to the side. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, like a leech. Yeah, it is. Good job with the leech. You, you cannot cut into the stem. And if you bleed into my drink, <laughs> you won't know because it's already pink. Because it's true. already. So, my friends, that is the Bloody, bloody Halloween's Halloween. Eve's, uh, Hallow's Eve. So, you can create this drink mm. with your Mike's Hard Blood Orange. It's a seasonal, which means yeah. you have to go get it now. Yeah, you should pick it up and try it by itself because it's pretty it's it's actually, tasty. Yeah, when you get a really six pack, right? Yeah. So, you get the six pack, looks like that. Then you drink the others and you make this drink. Yeah. Or you just make a lot of that drink. Or, or you make a drink and then you drink the oh, rest. Yeah, you, you still have a Or you of, play Slap Cup. You can play Slap Club. We, then, we, we, did, we did have a good we night did. of Slap Cup with uh, <laughs> yes, Mike's Hard. A, a, a Mike's Hard Lemonade non-sponsored Slap Cup event. Yeah. It was. It went A well. pickup game, if you will. A pickup pick game. game. And, and I didn't win, but I didn't lose. Yes. That's all that matters. Chris Dan and I rocked. Yeah. 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 Me and Jen did really well. I mean, yeah. and Dan did really I think well. I like really third well. or fourth. A anyone who was trapped between me, Jen, or yeah. Dan was in trouble. They were I just got it out of my way. <laughs> if you've never Google, what is it called? Flop, slap, slap cup? cup? Slap cup. Slap cup. Yeah. And no, you don't slap each other when you're done. No, it's, no. It's, a different it's not flip cup. Not flip cup. Big difference. Um. That is it. I just wanted to say one word to um, Rick Hawk. Holly. <laughs> Holly. I can't spell. Well, I can spell, but I can't you write. Can't read. Rick Holly from our uh, one of our Patreon patrons who went to patreon.com slash cmc and donated to the show, which is pretty awesome. Yes. Um, if, uh, also, you if you want to check out other stuff on the show, you can go to... Uh everydaydrinkers.com slash newsletter, sign up for the newsletter. That's right. And if you have your own recipe you'd like to submit and see on the show, go to res uh, submit it at recipe at everydaydrinkers.com. And if you have extra pair cores, you can always use those as a garnish. Do you have more shout outs? No, we'll do it. This is, a, this is an extra Oh, this episode. is us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's it, my friends. Mm. Pick yourself up some Mike's Hard Lemonade and drink responsibly because I like my fans and I don't want them to get hurt. Yes. We want you to keep watching and enjoying drinking. I don't have any subscribers if they do something stupid. Yeah. We're teaching you how to drink. The drink is really a light cocktail designed for either poolside, Labor Day, you know, where you could be visiting. For, for those that are not in the country, Labor Day is a day dedicated to the social...